Hi, I'm Doug Hawking and I'm a member of the Source Protection Committee. We have some ideas, good ideas, to help you protect your family and those special to you uh, from bad drinking water. Our good friends at Hopper have loaned us some pieces from a well and we've created a little mock-up here uh, to help illustrate what we're talking about. All the newer uh, wells have casings 16 to 20 inches above the ground. These screens are to prevent uh, earwigs and other insects from looking for a home uh, inside the well because the larger hole here is for the electrical wires to uh, come out to be hooked up to your service. There is a seal that comes with the rubber um, seal that fits inside and seals it tightly so there's uh, no moisture is ever going to work its way over through the top and down into the well. If you're at a cottage, it's important to remember that the well may be shared with the neighbors. It's a source of drinking water for many people and needs protection. This is a shallow dug well. It's been bored. It's lined with cement, about three feet in diameter, and it's 18 feet. You are responsible for the health and water quality for those that you love and are apt to be drinking water out of these wells. Keep 10 meters of grass around your well. To visualize a protection zone, go to your well. Walk 15 paces in all four directions and mark the perimeter. Do an inventory of what you find. Keep potential contaminants out of that protection zone around your well. If you have a small lot and it's a small pen of chickens or other animals, please separate them by 50 feet or more from your well case. If you're a, a dog owner, you have to check and see that the dog has not been tied up in that spot and need to pick up after him. An economical and effective way to provide good storage is to slip over to the hardware store and buy a plastic tote and that will help save any leakage or spillage or inadvertent tip overs from contaminating the well. It's important to store fuel, chemicals and salt carefully so there is less chance that a spill could contaminate your well. If you have a business or store lots of chemicals, you should purchase a proper storage unit that has a containment area in the bottom to capture leaks, spills, and inadvertent tip-overs. Don't let old chemicals, used oil, or dirty fuel hang around. Get rid of hazardous waste at designated county landfills and at municipal waste collection days. Please resist the urge to construct a wishing well or some other structure around it because that might attract something that will come and try and nest right over top of the well. So I'm standing on the winter parking area and we have some gravel here to help provide traction so you can get in and out of the car without falling and hurting yourself. It is not ideal because the melting salt drips off the vehicles and anything that leaks out of the vehicles um, is way too close to the well. Composting. It's a great way to reduce the load of garbage going to the dump and also to protect the water. But you need to keep it a sufficient distance away from your well because the decomposition leachate will also migrate into the aquifer if the aquifer is not properly protected. And also, you want to keep the sort of bugs and vermin that thrive on this sort of thing away from your well. So after you're done your cleanup in the spring or the fall, 
you don't want to leave your piles of clippings of branches and twigs and everything next to the well. You want to get as far away from your, your well as you can because you don't want to attract something that's going to hibernate over winter. You have some nice stonework patio here. Do not use chemicals or sprays to burn off the weeds. You can use a mixture of vinegar and water or the old Armstrong method and you can dig it out or you can experiment with your lawnmower and set the blade as low as you can. There may also be unused wells on your property and they may also, if they're not maintained, contaminate your aquifer and cause you problems with the wells that you and your neighbors are using. It is important to have them properly decommissioned using a licensed contractor. Taking samples, good samples, is very important. When you take them, you refrigerate them, keep them cool, take them as soon as you can to the drop-off point, uh, preferably same day. They come with stickers on the bottle which you peel off and put on this blue card and you save it and in two to three business days you can call this number and they will uh, give you the results over the phone. They will also mail out the results if there is some concerns or questions they will call you directly with the phone number that you leave on the paperwork that goes with them. The paperwork is easy, it's basically filling in your contact information and the location where you took the sample. You should sample at least three times a year and certainly every time that you detect a difference in the taste or color or smell of the water. There's a very good resource online for the Ontario well records. Uh, you can find it just by typing in, googling in Ontario well record locations. It will come up and you can scroll in and point, drill down on an interactive map and onto the very property and see if there are any records um, that are available for you. And they'll tell you a lot about the well in terms of depth, when it was drilled, how much, what the pumping capacity was, what sorts of overburden and soil layers they went through to find it, and the age of the well. Do you know where your septic system is? Oftentimes they're out of sight and out of mind for a long time. Here, uh, this one is more than 50 feet away from the well, so that's good, which is sometimes hard to do on these small lots. Maintain your investment just the same as you would your car or your truck. Septic systems can sometimes be good neighbors sometimes not so much. Approximately 50% of the time that wells are contaminated for unknown reason is from faulty septic systems. The septic system should be pumped out once every five years. If you can't remember the last time it was pumped out or nobody knows, it's time right now to do it. Indications that your septic are, are faulty, if you've got uh, in polite language, mounding in the yards, which are wet spots or breakouts uh, with uh, bad smelling and luxuriant grass growth that only seem to show up when the cottage is being used, you've got a blockage. Somebody's been cutting the lawn or driven a vehicle, parked it on top of a line and crushed those weeping tiles. Unused medicines Cleaning chemicals, household chemicals from in the house should not be flushed down the toilet. The unused medicines should be taken back to the pharmacy and returned. These can go in hazardous waste day pickup with the municipality. I hope you can take some of these ideas that I've shown you and help protect your well and your drinking water. Remember, look 15 paces around you to see what's in the area. Keep your well and your septic system in good shape and sample your drinking water three times a year. 
It is your responsibility to look after your well and drinking water and keep those near and dear to you safe.